Okay, when, once we figured out that we have low hemoglobin and low hemocrit, and we might be suspecting that um, we're seeing a client with anemia or a case study, uh, we wanna kind of figure out what type of anemia is happening. Are they deficient in iron? Are they deficient in folate? Are they having a B12 deficiency? Um, and to do that, we actually, we get some information by looking at the cell size and volume. Um, so we have with that the mean corpuscular volume and the mean corpuscular hemoglobin um, lab values. And with those lab values, um, the kind of the indicator of iron deficiency or microcytic anemia, which we see again in our blood loss pregnant or children typically, um, that's going to be low, right? So we're losing, um, we're losing iron and we have low volume of our cells. Now, um, when an instance where we might have high volume or high MCV values, that's going to be our megablastic, that's our folate and B12 deficiency um, or malabsorption, and then pernicious could be high or low. So that one's kind of, you don't really know. That's why we have that Sheelane's test, right? So we can kind of dive a little deeper specifically looking at intrinsic factor. Um, so MCV, the volume, if we have a low volume, think iron deficiency, high volume, we're thinking about the megablastic, um, also called macrocytic. Um, so think macro, big, mega, mega, big, um, versus the microcytic, which is going to be our iron deficiency. Now, when we look at the hemoglobin um, in our cells, we are, again, if it is low, iron deficiency, microcytic high, the megaloblastic, or the folate B12 deficiency. Um, and actually, I was kind of looking up why would our cells be bigger when we're deficient in something. Um, and usually that's looking at B12. And when we have B12, um, what happens, I don't know the exact terms, but what happens is basically there's um, proteins in the cell and the B12 helps condense those proteins to make it a normal size. And if it doesn't have that B12, those proteins don't condense and it has this megaloblastic or macrocytic cells. So you'll see that we have a B12 deficiency maybe in our vegans um, with our megaloblastic or we might have B12 deficiency with our pernicious anemia um, where we don't have that intrinsic factor and that's where we're gonna have high volumes or high values for our volume and our hemoglobin. Um, so that's MCV and MCH, um, high with megaloblastic and again, the pernicious can kind of go either way with all of those, um, but you may see pernicious with high MCV values. All right. So that's our iron deficiency, and our, which is microcytic, our megaloblastic or macrocytic um, folate B12. We also have um, where we can look at our total iron binding capacity, TIBC. Um, and with that one, that's where our iron is switched. Our iron um, deficiency anemia will be high. Um, we see low values of this with disease, um, and then we can't, the megaloblastic or the pernicious anemia might be normal. So to kind of sum up, um, pernicious anemia, big thing there is the Schilling's test, but you might see high um, iron, you might see high MCV volume. Our megaloblastic, which is our folate and B12 deficiencies, we have um, high volume, high hemoglobin, that's the NCH hemoglobin um, and high iron. Then our iron deficiency um, will have low MCV, low MCH um, and high iron binding capacity, right? So we have a high iron capacity because we don't have that iron there. So we have a bunch of, uh, you think of capacity, you know, the capacity of the room is 500, but you have no iron in that room. So you have a high capacity. That's, kind of how I remember it. They're not there. The iron's not there. So anyway, um, then our disease, um, the only really value I have for that one is the total iron binding capacity. Typically that's lower in our um, anemia chronic disease. Uh, I do have some notes that you might see that with um, folks who have decreased like lean body mass or protein um, stores as far as like anorexia, carcaxia, um, but also renal disease, um, which we 
kind of go into more of like renal hormones, um, and then hypothyroidism, you might see that anemia chronic disease. So hopefully that maybe helps a little bit with um, what's going on. Uh, there is a page in your assessment book if you want to kind of look through. They go through even more lab testing you could do because um, obviously you can look at, you know, folate levels, serum folate, serum iron, serum B12 um, to see, you know, specifically what anemia you might have or your case entity your patient might have. So hopefully um, that kind of differentiates the different anemias. And um, if you have any questions or anything else to add, please comment below.